Boy, what a nightmare, right? To check your credit card account and suddenly find thousands of dollars in fraudulent charges from different locations, stuff that you didn't buy. A victim of that crime told KMAX Alyssa Gore today that it's not just the lost money that has him upset in this case. Yeah, Brian, Michael Hommel understands that credit card thefts do happen, but what he wants to show is that thefts like these hurt more than just your bank account. He also wants you to take a look at the surveillance footage he's found and see if you recognize the man who was caught on camera. So, you know, obviously our bank account is empty. We have three kids in the house. Michael Hommel is a father and an Iraq War veteran. He was over the moon to welcome his third child, Brady, last week. My father-in-law was staying at the Cocoa Inn in Lubbock and he wanted to come see the baby. So I got in the car and drove over to the Coco. I couldn't get his attention in his room so I, I jumped out of the car for a second and I left the door open, left the car running, ran over by his room, waved at him, got his attention and then got back in the car and waited for him. A few hours later he went to buy his family ice cream and realized his wallet was gone. It's kind of got a sinking feeling uh, come over me so I, um, I checked my online bank account and that's when I saw liquor stores, Walmarts, um, tons of purchases that were clearly not mine. He says the suspect ran his work card to its limit and then his personal card, leading to thousands of dollars in fraudulent charges. Fat Cat's liquor let him see this surveillance footage which matches up with the timestamp on his credit card charge there. The worst part of it all though is, you know, I can get a new driver's license, I can get a new veteran's ID card. Um, but what I can't replace is I had a picture of my wife um, that she had given me 22 years ago. Uh, we were high school sweethearts and to lose that picture now after everything it's been through, um, I took that picture with me to Iraq. Um, sitting in Tent City, it was the one thing that really got me through, you know, just to have that piece of her there with me. And to lose that now over this is, it's pretty painful. So I, if anything, I would love to to have that picture back or, you know, just see this guy, uh, he needs to pay for what he did. Lubbock police who are investigating this case say the best thing to do if you lose your wallet is exactly what Michael did. Check your accounts and cancel your cards. If you recognize the person in the surveillance images, call Crimeline at 741-1000. Lauren. Let's hope that person gets caught. Thank you, Alyssa.